Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Rev Room. Today, I got this Duracell portable power station from Costco. Alright, so taking a look over the box real quick. This is the Duracell Power Pack Pro 1300 uh, for roadside emergencies. You could use it for camping, tailgating, emergency power. You have two household outlets on the front. Uh, rated at 480 watts, 1300 amp peak battery power uh, for four, six, and eight cylinder heavy duty jump starting. Two USB ports, a tire inflator, and a work light. Also comes with a two year warranty. Quickly inflate tires up to 100 psi. Now the package contains a portable power station, AC charging cord, inflator accessories, and a quick start guide. The output current for the USB ports, they are 2.4 amp. First thing in the box, you're gonna get your quick start guide and manual. All right, so here is the Duracell Power Pack Pro 1300. Try saying that three times fast. One thing is for sure, this thing is really heavy. I'm not gonna lie, especially if we're doing this video, even with two hands, this thing definitely has some heft to it, I could tell you that much. This bad boy comes in just under 21 pounds right there is the air compressor, there's your switch, as well as the gauge right there. Here is your positive cable, obviously, for the battery. And right there is your on-off switch for the jumper cables. Right here, we have the tire inflator hose. Now here is the negative cable, or the negative side, I should say. And in the top left right there, you can see that's the emergency light. And right on the bottom is the pivoting LED that is that switch for the emergency light right there just pivots up and down, nothing crazy. And here's where we get to the ports and all the switches. So at the top, you could see there is a cigarette lighter plug right there uh, for 20 amps max. Here are your USB ports rated at 2.4 amps. And you have your indicator light for charging or charged. So you have red for charging, green if the battery is charged. If you have the clamps reversed, there is a warning light for that as well. Uh, power fault for whatever battery you're connecting up to. Um, you have your USB on and off switch. So these ports are switchable. So you do have to switch them on in order for them to work. Uh, battery level to test the actual battery of the power station, as well as your AC on and off. And over here, that switch I assume is for the AC outlets. There is your AC charger for the actual power station. And if you're looking at the positive cable side, uh, there's a little compartment here. It says AC cord inflation accessories open here. And here is the AC cord in order to charge the actual power station. And you also get your tire inflator accessories right here. Pretty cool. I actually see a needle in there if you want to... Um, you know, fill up a basketball or a football. That's actually really cool and pretty handy. Charge for at least 24 hours before first use and every three months thereafter. If it is not regularly charged, the internal battery will be damaged. Products function will be impaired and warranty may be voided. So make sure you do keep this charged up. Keep charged. Storing discharge battery will cause permanent damage. Recharge every three months. So. They're very keen on keeping this battery charged at the very least, charging it every three months. This thing packs a real punch, you know? Got it at Costco. They also had a different one at Costco. It was made by Cat, and it was actually a cubed-shaped power station. Um, but although I saw this one, and I compared, like, which one had more USB ports and, you know, stuff for my needs, I think the Duracell one knocked it out of the park. That's why I went with the Duracell one. I love Duracell. The brand, I think they're the best batteries you could ever buy. Um, and fun fact, people who actually go to Costco, and if you're buying batteries, get the Kirkland Signature batteries because they're the same. They're made by Duracell anyway. I do love Duracell, and I do love this power station, and I will definitely be recommending this product. That's really all I got for you guys in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Rumble at The Rev Room, of course. And we got videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.